All right, now that all the tomfoolery is out of the way, we are back on the regular scheduled uploading system. So I'm recording this today for tomorrow. Uh, you won't get a video today. I only have like four, maybe five videos uh, ready to go. Or not ready to go, but like like recorded um, when I finally got my PC up and running. And then it was NRO week. So as weird as this sounds, I didn't go to the gym at all last week. Or well, I guess this week, it's still the same week, it's Friday. Uh, but today is grand opening for the store. And um, I closed tonight, so it is a, it's a big deal. Right, like today is the first day that uh, the store is officially open. It's the first day that uh, we're actually gonna be working and actually gonna be closing on our scheduled time. It's the first day that uh, some of the people are gonna be alone. You know, it's a it's a big deal, right? And it's, I'm, it's pretty exciting. I think all the work that me, the other trainers, Paloma, Susmita, Lily, uh, Hedia, all of us put in is gonna pay off. I'm very confident in my team. I think that they have been trained well. I think that they know what they're doing now. Uh, we had a mock day yesterday where it was kind of a little three hour block of time when uh, the crew members were, like we were open for friends and family, but we started letting everyone in that came um, and they did pretty well. They didn't have many questions on the line. I didn't have to jump in much. They were pretty, pretty good about it. So I was very, very impressed, which is, I don't know. I'm actually <clears throat> very happy with how they performed and with uh, the ways they did it. You know, it wasn't like they were doing it all sloppily and ugly. They kind of all worked together and got a lot done. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling. But with that being said, it was NRO week, so I was working doubles. I was working 8 to 10s most days, which is, you know, insane. Uh, and obviously, I didn't have enough time to still be uh, at the gym consistently just because of the amount of time that I was at work. It was, you know, kind of unreasonable for me to try and still go to the gym and get enough sleep and so we had enough food. I don't even think I was eating enough food for my bulk, to be honest. So I, I didn't weigh myself this morning, which I should have, that's a mistake. Uh, I didn't weigh myself this morning, but I'm almost positive that I'm gonna be less than the last couple times that I've checked. I know the, the most recent time I checked, I was down like eight pounds from uh, where I had made it into my bulk. So, I mean, we'll see, but good thing about today is we're coming back with my favorite day of the week. It's chest day, so. That's pretty exciting. Last day, the last day that we uploaded was arms. Um, wait, is it supposed to be chest day? Yeah, legs, arm, chest, back. That's what it is. I almost got, I almost confused myself there. But yeah, chest day, uh, incline dumbbell, um, machine fly, cable press, maybe hammer strength. Flat press? I'm not sure. I don't know what the last movement will be, but I know I have the first three. It'll be incline, dumbbell, machine fly, cable press. I want to do those for sure. And then we will uh, decide and adjust to what's available for the last movement. But I think ideally it'll be incline smith, maybe. Not exactly sure what I want to do, but I guess it'll really just depend on, you know, what is available at the time and what I end up wanting to hit. So it'll just, and we'll see. But let's finish my pre. Let's get in there. Let's make the work happen. Cool? Peace. All right. Um, normal warm up is complete for chest. Uh, tricep push down, a little bit of rotator cuff, and uh, rear, rear delt activator. And then uh, fly super set move. I've showed you guys before. Um, also warmed up with the dumbbells. Day 55, 65, 75, I think 80 is gonna be about where I wanna be. I know it's low, but you know, haven't been here in a week, so I do not wanna rush back and possibly hurt myself whatsoever. That's just a recipe for fucking disaster. You know, just trying to make sure that I stay healthy because even though obviously I do wanna get back and start lifting weights, heavy weights fast, I need to make sure that my body is ready for it. I can't just jump in and throw around the hundreds, right? Like that's how I'm going to get hurt. So if you guys do ever have to take time off or miss a few days, don't jump back in trying to do the same high weight that you were doing because you will hurt yourself. Be careful, make adjustments, drop the weight, do something that will still push you, but won't hurt you. So let's so fucking do it.
drop it a little bit because I was only six. We're going to go to the 70s for the last one. You know, you got to be obsessed with finding yourself now um, after and not having to prove anything to anybody except for like right yourself and your family which you know that makes sense and you have to realize that that's enough. You don't need the approval of others. You don't need the approval of all your friends and, and all these people that are gonna judge you online. But man, if you give your best, bro, that's enough. And a lot of times we forget that. And you know, for anybody out there, bro, you're enough. You pushing yourself is enough. You working hard is enough. Don't let anyone tell you that what you're doing is not enough, especially if you're going as hard as you can or you're doing as much as you can. Someone will appreciate you for what you do. Just find that person. And if that's yourself, that's fine. Find yourself, appreciate yourself because you are the only person that can love you how you will. Nobody else can love you like you. You have to love yourself. Remember that. That's a gate. Let's move on to some machine flies. Whew. This is gonna be a little bit heavier than I normally do flies, but it's because I'm doing them so early in the workout. So it's gonna be aggressive, it's gonna be violent, but that's exactly what I want. That was good. Whew. Let's do a couple more. Listen to this. If people are treating you like you're nothing in their lives, then you need to be just that. Be nothing in their lives. You know, don't keep going to a place where you're not valued or appreciated and complain that you're not valued or appreciated, right? You're gonna make yourself go psychotic. You keep going back. People are always very clear with their actions where they belong. But at the end of the day, it's 100% up to you to choose whether you're gonna stay or you're gonna move. Don't worry about what people say to you. That doesn't matter. Focus on how they treat you and how they act around you. That will tell you how much you mean to them. Then reciprocate that. Don't keep coming back to some place where you're not appreciated. You all deserve better than that. Ugh. 
You know, you cannot get upset because this shit's gonna take a while. Don't be discouraged because, you know, before you get to, you know, whatever your dream physique or body is, it's gonna take a long period of just doing the same things over and over and over, right? I mean, you have to remember that the grind, the repetitive nature of everything of your day and your routines, that's what adds up, right? That's if you can stick to it, you know? And if you can rewire your brain to enjoy doing it, that's even better. Because then you'll enjoy the consistency. You'll enjoy the repetitiveness. You'll enjoy how hard it is. Once you start to enjoy the grind, that's when you'll start to see results. Just saying. Holy shit. All right, do some cable press right here. All right, cable chest press is next on the agenda. The only thing different about this uh, than I would usually do is usually when I press, I'll pull my palms up and kind of angled in. Today I'm gonna keep them kind of flat out to the side so it'll be here instead of here. That makes sense. Just kind of focus more on the mid and upper chest with this rather than with the low chest with this, if that makes sense. Huh. If you think you're just gonna have a dream and a goal, and you're just gonna wake up and you're just gonna walk into the sunset, it does not work like that, my friend. You have a dream and then life punches you. Life punks you and says, do you want this? Are you ready? It's a part of your dream, man, but if you guys have paid too much to give up on these dreams. If you have the dream and you have the goal and you have the aspirations, take that punch that life hits you with and absorb it and hit right back. Become the best version of yourself, man. You guys all deserve that shit. Don't let life punk you out of your dream. Because it's going to try. I promise it's going to try. Just don't, let it, don't let it win. Shit. Okay, let's go do some uh, some flat press. All right, uh, it's a machine chest press. Uh, and we're gonna do it a little bit. We're just gonna do one set, but it's gonna be super light, slow, controlled, really squeeze at the top, slow retraction, really squeeze at the top, slow retraction, right? Like this is gonna be the last working set of our lift, so I really want it to be really squeezed and really pump this chest up, if that makes sense. So. Let's figure it out. Let's do this shit. Hmm. 
Drop a little bit. We'll just drop set here. Let's go check it out. Ooh. All right, let's see, I mean. It's always weird trying to do, uh, or make posing videos when the windows are open, because the lighting always gets messed up, but I think this is pretty good. I mean, look at this. All right, let's see. Oh, fuck. Whew. Whew. It's been a minute since I had a chest pump. Feels good to be back. It's one of my favorite set of usual sunches, but I like this how this looks today. All right. Woo. All in all, Really good chest day, especially for the first day back. Obviously, the weight wasn't where I want or where my ultimate goal is, obviously. But, you know, for the first day back in a while, I am not mad about that. I'll be able to be coming back consistently now because I'm not working doubles anymore. Although it's going to be weird because I'm going to be coming in the morning most of the time, which is not common for me. Usually I like to go to the gym at night, but just the way my schedule works out, it'll probably be mostly morning lifts, or midday lifts rather. But anyway, that's fine. I'm gonna go do some uh, dumbbell lateral raises for my wrist side delts, but I'll see you guys in the car. I don't wanna keep recording right now. I'm listening to my goddamn music and maybe sing a little bit, and I don't think you guys wanna hear that shit, so yeah, see you guys in the car. Alrighty, W freaking chest day, man. W freaking chest day. Everything was really good about today. I'm not really sure. I think the flow of my workout was really good. I jumped from machine to machine pretty quickly, but I think the one thing I could probably improve on is just uh, focus after I do the pose down and do whatever auxiliary lift I'm doing for the day because a lot of the times, that's where I'll end up slacking, right? Like when I put you guys down, I'm not recording, or even if, you got, if I am recording, the auxiliary lift after the main meat and potatoes are done with the lift, the shoulders, the abs, the, the, the calves, whatever it is I do after, Usually that's where I end up slacking and taking longer breaks or not going to a complete failure. I think I need to work on that and focus on, you know, making sure that I do those as efficiently and as, like, with as much energy as possible. Now, with that being said, for my first day back after about a week, I am not going to complain about the quality, the weight I was doing, or the fact that I was able to get the complete failure. All of that was really good. I'm very proud of myself for that. So, I mean, I, this, this little thing I'm doing right here is something that you guys all probably should start doing after your lifts, right? 
say a couple things that you did really well, then may, maybe say one or two things that you think you can improve on. Even if it's not to a camera, right? Obviously, I have a camera here, so it's easier for me to record and keep track of what it is that I'm saying I can improve on. But if you don't, write it down. Put in your notes, whatever it is you need to do, just to make sure that you can recall what you said yesterday or the day before, the week before, and improve on that, right? You always want to be improving. You always want to be getting better as a lifter and as a person in general. So even if it's not lifting, whatever it is that you love to do, even if that's video games, right? After you're done with your session, think of a couple things. Okay, my aim was good. My aim was really good today. I had really good positioning, but I could work on my comms. But I could work on my cam placements. But I could work on, you know, making sure that I tell my teammates where and when I die from. Like all those things that you can improve on. Keep a mental note. Keep a physical note. Keep whatever kind of note you need in order to remember them, because that's how you're going to improve by improving on whatever you see. Once you, once you're, once you don't see a flaw in your game, then that's when you're really good because you will always be probably the most critical of yourself. No one's gonna be more critical of yourself than you. So looking for a way, or is it this one? I, yeah, it is. Looking for a way or a reason that you can improve uh, while you're lifting or while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing that you love to do, that's how you're going to improve, right? All the consistency, all the days that you try, that you try and do different things, all the times that you, you know, look to get better, you're going to see where you're getting better and how you're getting better from your own notes. Obviously, other people are going to give you feedback, and that's fine. You always take external feedback, but sometimes it'll be biased. Sometimes it won't be consistent. Sometimes it'll be trying to confuse you, right? You can't trust people with feedback in your own life, so you have to learn to give yourself that feedback and consistently use it, right? It's one thing to say. It's another thing to put it in action. If you're just saying, oh, I'm going to be better this year. Oh, I'm going to eat better this year. Oh, I'm going to do this this year. Oh, I'm going to do that this year. Okay, cool, but you have to do it. Right, that's one of the <clears throat> reasons that I dislike social media um, is because everyone talks about what they're going to do. I don't care what you're going to do. I don't. I care what you do. I care how you do it. I care when you do it and I care why you do it. Right? That's what matters. Not if you're going to do it or not what you say you're going to do. So just keep that in mind the next couple times that you, you know, want to go on social media and say, oh, watch, I'm going to be the best soon. Just do it. But yeah, I love you guys. Good lift today. See you tomorrow for back. Peace.